Okay, good morning kids. Mr. John, we're going to go over last week's assignment. Um, some of you haven't done it, and if you want to make good by showing that you have good character and you want to show responsibility, stop this video now and go to last week's assignment and you have another chance to finish it. Those who have tried and haven't got it, I'm going to do a little bit of review. Um, I'm going to give you almost all the answers. So first of all, there's the picture of the hand. If you're new to our school, you should know that you miss something. And I just want you guys to know that if a cat moves from one house to the next, it stores a lot of its memories in its old factory. That's your smells. So it relates to the passing of time and events and things a lot through its smell. And if you want your cat to be relatively smart, you want to bring some stuff from where it used to live to here. So, however, those, those smells will make the cat feel more at home and more relaxed and create less anxiety. We as people, every time we have to reinvent a new structure, we have to go and learn how we're supposed to feel at certain parts of day because we are experiencing something 100% brand new. So if you grow up and have kids, you should know that the more you move, the harder it is for your kid to relate to the surroundings. And that has a little bit to do with their IQ and their ability to recall things that they have learned in the past. So that's just some advice to some future parents out there, any of you decide to do that. Every time a cat moves, it loses a few IQ points. So, some of the kids are new here, and that's not your fault. And you don't, you might not know what this hand is, so I'm gonna go over it really quick. So this thing with all five lines is called the staff, okay? The staff has five lines, and as you go up this way, the frequency or the pitch goes higher. When you go this way, the frequency goes lower. So if you see this very first note, it's low, so it's gonna be the lowest note in the entire song. This song here is from a three-part video that many of you have not seen. I'd like to give you another chance to show that you have character Almost all the kids I know who have watched the three-part videos have enjoyed it, and they practiced. And if we see you next year and you haven't practiced it, and we're in music class, and you say, I don't get it, you're being disrespectful to your friends. So that's it. I just think you should do it. It'd be good for you. Be better than uh, whatever you're doing. I'm only asking maybe 15 minutes out of your time. The three videos, all three of them are less than five minutes a piece. I'll quit, I'll quit hounding on you and let's get back to learning how to read these notes. So forget this one right now, okay? All we're gonna worry about is these notes here on the staff, okay? So down below, we have this little thing. It's, a, it's called a hand. Uh, my artwork isn't very good, but uh, you should be able to look at that and realize that this is the thumb, okay? So some people are right-handed, some people are left-handed. So anyway, what I'd like you to do at home if this is brand new to you is I would like you to touch your thumb and say elephants, okay? Elephants, elephants. That's this line right here. See, that's the lowest line. There's five lines here, and how many fingers do we have? We have five fingers. So the finger I'm wingle, wiggling, now I'm, I'm left-handed, all right? So it doesn't matter which hand you use, 
and it doesn't matter which way you do, as long as you know that the elephant is the lowest note on the staff. Okay, so this is E. All right, so I'll write that in. E. Now look at this. This note and this note. Are they on the same line? Yes, they are. So this will also be an E. Now, if you if you watched all three videos, you might be saying, wait a minute, Mr. John, that's not an E, that's a me. Well, they're both correct, okay? So the reason we learn sight singing is so we can transpose notes into different keys. Some of you will grow up to be maybe professional musicians. You're gonna to have to learn how to transpose music. And that means to play it the same melody in a higher key or a lower key. And the, the hand signals will help you connect with the intervals. So if you don't completely understand what intervals is, just hang on, keep watching the videos and we'll get to it. So that's, these are both E's. I hope you can read that, all right? Now, elephants go, okay? This is a silly sentence. Um, I'll try to write in a description. I think it was, I think I wrote it in the last couple descriptions. So we got five fingers. The silly sentence has five words. Elephants go bouncing down freeways. Now in this song, the highest note we have happens to be goes. So you're only going to use these two fingers. All right. So it's, so this is elephants go. And that's this word, this note right here. See how it's the second line? So that's a G. All right. So this note and this note are also G's. Now the next note isn't. Okay, the next note is a space. A space, you see, see how this is like shish kebab? There's a line right through the middle. There's a line right through the middle. And then this one sets in between those. With that, we, it's a space, okay? And we have five spaces between our fingers, okay? So you can either do it this way, like F, A, C, E, or you can do it this way, F, A, C, E. But you have to know that there are, let's count the spaces. There are four spaces between our fingers and there's four spaces between the staff. One, two, three, four, okay? So this is the first space. No, this is the second space. So if we spell the word face, F, A, C, E, we're only going up from F to A, F, F, A, okay? So that's what this note is. It's an A, okay? Notice I skipped this one. We're gonna get back to that one. And it's actually written on the board to help you out. So we're gonna go on. So this note isn't an A, because it's, but it, it's this one. So sometimes you have to look behind you to know where you're going. So it's a G. Eventually this will be automatic, all right? Look at this one. This one's not a line, it's a space. And it happens to be the first space. What's the letter for the first space? Space rhymes with what again? Face, and how do you spell face? F-A-C-E. And the first letter in the word face is F, right? Look, we got another F here. All right. So now I'm going to go back to over here. Um, I gave you the answer here, all right? But some of you kids are deep thinkers, and you want to understand this. And, and the more you understand this from different sides of the problem, the, the quicker you're going to be fast and furious. So if you recount backwards, we know that this note here is an E, okay? What comes before E in the alphabet? 
I mean, you, you can even say it in your head. You can count on your fingers, or A, B, C, D, E, 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 so E. Okay, what comes before E? D, all right? So D is one note lower than E. So the, the, the next note lower is going to be a space. So that happens to be this note, D, all right? Now, what's one note before? Did I say this right? Yeah, what's one note before D? Well, I gave you it right here, and it's, it's on a line, but it's below the staff. And whenever you make a note above or below the staff, it's called a ledger line. So finally, we can get the answer to our very first question. C, okay? And we know that this is an E because we did an E over here. So we've got to look back. Now, I want you, some of you kids that are saying this is hard, well, one thing cool about being home and alone, there's less distractions. So a lot of times when I teach this with kids, someone will be touching them or someone will be really needy and they, they prefer that you would pay attention to them than the teacher and then and then you're not your eyes aren't trained to follow like a like a, a laser beam your eyes can get better and quicker when you recognize where you come from and where you're going so this is a D what's this note it's a D very good okay so I want if you still haven't done any of this Okay, you have a chance to do these by yourself. However, I'm going to give you the last three. These were the hardest one. And this one is kind of a trick question. The only way you would have gotten this answer is two, re two ways. You could have counted backwards from C. Now, once again, a lot of you kids know that the musical alphabet goes from A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. All right, when we go this way, we go up in pitch, that's like higher. When we go this way, we go down in pitch okay so this goes up and down to affinity so just because this is a C there are, there's a C here there's a C here and here there's a C down here and here and it keeps going lower and lower and lower so we know that this is a C okay and as you get better training your eyes you're going to be able to recognize the spaces okay so if this is a C and this, we don't know what it is. Let's count how many steps it is. So this is a line, space, line, space. So it's four notes below C. So keep in mind that this is a circle, okay? It goes around this way, and then it goes this way. Whichever way you're going, if you're going up or down, that's the direction you count. So we're starting here, and we're going down in pitch, okay? So we're going to go this way, okay? We're going down, so let's count the notes. One, two, three, four. That's the, that's the name of the note. So G. Now, some of you who haven't watched the videos will know in the video one of the characters thought that they were special because there were two G's. There was this G and this G. And what's the name of this note? This is a G, but it's also called a so. Okay, so this is a G, and this is a G, and this is a so, and this is also a so. So I hope you'll go back and check out the video and you have another chance to finish your assignment. And I just want you to know that 
I miss you guys. Keep washing your hands. Um, good things are going to happen if, if we keep trying. Adios.